What's up my viewers, welcome back to the channel, watch like, share, comment and subscribe, hit the bell if you're new to the channel, do remember watch the video to the end for a YouTube recommendation, so yesterday the brother here get can up, a whole heap of can at a car wash in Kingston, so viewers and subscribers, videos and picture of the incident is currently in our WhatsApp group and our Telegram group, as we are always telling up comment join give us a mean or ways of contacting you to give you the video or the picture so viewers again the brother here pound a scream he am anger he was shot and killed yesterday at a chinese supermarket over there in saint elizabeth reports reaching us is that he was at the chinese restaurant doing his business you know a shop around get some stuff for the house or for whatever means or reason gunmen came in to rob the chinese supermarket he was trying to be a good samaritan by pulling his license firearm but unfortunately he was spotted and was shot and killed by the gunmen who came to rob the supermarket so we can understand that the gunman they make off with an undetermined sum of cash and also the license firearm of this brother here who was trying to play a hero. Viewers and subscribe sometime in life you make certain things go on because you are trying to play a hero right now and lose your three points and gone back down to zero. So sometimes some things if you know Quick enough, just leave it, make it be. Make them take what they might take and go on. Cause they come for take and cut, then they ain't come for really for hurt nobody. Cause nobody else got hurt. Only you, cause you was a threat to them. Sometime in a life is best if you just leave a situation as it is and don't try to play a hero. So if you want some subscribers, condolences goes out to him. His friends, families, and well wishes. All right. Section of Saint Andrew North Police Division currently under curfew. So here, Castle Brook Clevel Road and Stone Hill Saint Andrew under curfew. The security measures begins at six p.m. on Friday, October the eighteenth, and will remain in effect till six p.m. today. The boundaries of the curfew are along Golden Spring Road with the imaginary line across Brook Level Road leading to the intersection of Erie Castle Road and Levy Terrence. East from the intersection of Erie Castle Road and Levy Terrence to the intersection of Erie Castle Road to Lipcombe Avenue South from the intersection of Erie Castle Road and Lipcombe Avenue to the intersection of Stony Hill Road and Sea View Road. West from the intersection of Stony Hill Road and Sea View Road to Golden Spring Road. During the hours of the curfew, all persons within its boundaries are required to stay inside our those who authorize in written by the Crown Commander can move freely. <coughs> Man arrested following alleged shootout with police in Old Harbor. The Old Harbor police in St. Catherine on Friday arrested a man who was among men who allegedly engaged cops in a shootout during an operation to recover a stolen motor vehicle. The police say the loaded Browning pistol was seized in the incident. It is reported that around 5 p.m. the police in Olaba spotted an understream motor car which was reported stolen in Maple Clarendon. The vehicle was intercepted along Olaba Road upon reaching the Nightingale, Nightingale Grove community. The vehicle crashed into a ditch. Occupants 
reportedly exit the car and fired shots at the police. No one was hit. A male occupant of the vehicle was held. The Olaba Criminal Investigation Branch is currently probing the development. So watch, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell if you're new to the channel. Do remember watch the video to the end so YouTube can recommend the video to other law-abiding citizens such as yourself. Bless up the viewers and subscribers. Do continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell if you're new to the channel. Alright? So watch the video to the end so the video can be recommended. Bless up.